peace my beautiful people welcome back to the channel um i'm sorry if my camera isn't looking so stable i literally just got the camera replaced like two weeks ago spent 300 dollars to get my camera replaced so i could get back on youtube because i spent some time off um, making videos because my camera during the mercury retrograde stopped working so i got a new camera two weeks ago and look the phone is already acting up again so i pray against any energies that are trying to stop my channel from going from growing and from moving forward i'm bringing some frankincense here for us today as i get into this reading so i'm sorry about the focus and the jitteriness of the camera maybe that's um the energy of some of us right now you know we're not so focused our energy is about is a little bit jittery right now because of the upgrades we are going through we maybe don't understand why certain things are happening in our lives why certain things are changing the way it is now before i get into this reading i want to recommend a book to you guys how to win friends and influence people i'm recommending this book because I know I'm speaking to a lot of leaders and innovators or just people who are trying to do better in their own lives. And this is a good book. I read it already and I'm rereading it again. I finally got a copy of the book. So it's a good book to go ahead and read if you just want to learn people better and learn how to operate with people. And I saw a lot of your um, comments on my last video about the monitoring spirits and you guys wanting a video with psalms to protect you from monetary spirits so today i'm going to just get into one of the psalms i'm going to pray one of the psalms before i get into the reading okay so let's pray let's get into a space This psalm is to remove any negative energy surrounding you any evil eye any monitoring spirit around you Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God, thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord, make no tarrying. That is Psalm 70. Another Psalm that's good to pray is Psalm 69, okay? So, now that we have prayed the Psalm, the message is, your voice overpowers their demons. Now, I got this message through a dream where there was this ex of mine and in this dream, he tried to attack me. He literally tried to slap me. And I remember running away from him and being scared of him. And then he transformed. He was no longer him. He was no longer a person. He was a black entity. Like um, Slender Man, he was a dark black entity. And I remember in this dream... He turned, obviously this means that he turned into this kind of a low vibrating entity, right? So this entity looked at me because I, I, was, I was scared. When I saw that he transformed into this energy, I was scared. I just stood there in place and he screamed at me. You know, in the movies when demons let out that kind of a shriek, that kind of a... That's the noise he let out. But I looked that demon in its eyes and I was like, ah, and it's the way that it happened in the dream too. Do you know in cartoons when your mouth opens, like in the cartoons when the mouth opens wide, wider than the person, that is how I transformed. My mouth opened wider than the demon and scared the demon away. Your voice is stronger than any negative energy coming towards you. You have the ability to speak these things away, but you need to talk. You need to open your mouth. Closed mouths don't get fed. I see you going through a constant cycle of learning how to balance your energy, but then forgetting your power. You have this power and this energy about you that you don't give yourself enough credit for. 
So let's tap in. Let's tap into the energy. Let's see what spirit has for you today. So we're going to look at your energy at this time. We're going to look at this uh, demonic energy. And then we're going to look at what is the outcome. And this energy could be one of three things. I'm getting three things. I'm getting it could literally be um, things in your life that you need to affirm good good words over you need to speak life over your projects you need to speak life over yourself over your destiny you need to stop resonating on the energy of negativity stop being scared of your fears then we have the energy of a relationship there is someone that you are with who you are their kryptonite you soften this person you bother this person but this person really uses your energy for their own gain and they don't give back to you they actually abuse you and i pray if you are in abuse an abusive relationship right now i pray that you're able to break the chain i pray that you're able to heal and rewrite your future by stepping away from that energy and then we also have the energy of um uh just persons in your life so we have the energy of you being the 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 thing that you need to work on you need to speak over you need to speak over your negativity and speak positivity stop letting whatever circumstances that you went through in the past define your future then there's another aspect of a relationship so i'm speaking to different people a relationship that you're in that is not good for you and then an, another aspect where it's the people around you it's the things around you the people around you who are the energies that you need to speak over and you need to affirm yourself or it could be all three you could literally have an example of each thing in your life that you know that can resonate with that so i kind of just want to put the frankincense right here so you guys could just see that flame and that energy and just pray right now this is for you speaking to this fire what it is that you desire Okay, speaking to this fire, what it is that you want while I shuffle these cards and I get into the message. So we're checking on your energy. We're checking on your energy. And your energy is giving me the frequency of I'm learning who I am. I'm trusting this newfound passion. I'm unlocking newfound abilities. And because this is so new to me, I don't know how to go about this. I don't know how to really stand in this power, how to really collaborate with other people in this new power that I am. Will these people understand me? Will these people get me? These things that I want to speak of, will these people hear me? But I'm telling you, the Lord wants to place you into a position where people hear your voice. Your voice needs to be heard. You need to get out there and speak. You need to get out there and shine. So I'm actually being called to pull from a different deck, not from tarot. I'm being called to pull from this oracle. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from that. Some of you too may feel like you have big dreams, like dreams that may never be accomplished. For example, you're trying to raise the vibration of this planet, right? And then you speak to certain people about the things that you want to do, like selfless giving, or you just want to help people without wanting anything back from them. And people tend to not believe that we are capable of doing those things. Because, listen, as God's elected people, we operate on a different spectrum where we know that we can be selfless. We can live a selfless um, life. But there are people who, it, it's always what's in it for me. What can I get out of this? What is, what is my... What is, what is, uh, yeah, am I getting paid for this? Basically, am I getting paid for this? What is in it for me? So, and you operate from, I'm doing this for the collective. I'm doing this for the good of the collective. So, it's just an aspect of you not have, you needing to not let people, people's own small-mindedness hinder yours. When people speak small-minded bullshit around you, you need to open your mouth and scream. Oh, Lord. You need to open your mouth and talk. You need to let it out. Because you need to be the example for these people. You need to be the example of, yes, I can be selfless and I can still win. 
I can still gain everything that I have to gain because I don't need to hurt somebody to get where I need to get. I can become a millionaire without hurting anybody. There are some people with outdated principles. Oh, all millionaires are killers. All millionaires are murderers. All millionaires have done something bad, have overstepped other people to get to where they got to. You don't have to be like that, you know? So let's see. You have, how can you mother yourself, okay? And let's get another one. Star mother. How can you mother yourself? Okay. Soul fam family. Calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So calling in like-minded individuals. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. So I'm seeing someone here who is operating. And gender. This 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 reading is gender neutral. Um, however, this is this the, the divine feminine energy. Someone who's operating in their intuition and in their sensuality, in their um, ability to just sit and receive. Um, I'm seeing some of you, though, needing to take life a little less serious and just enjoy certain things in the moment. Go with the flow. Something I've been incorporating right now in my life every morning, every afternoon, every time I bathe, every time I take a bath, I do shower meditations. So I imagine the water that's flowing down the shower just channeling through my body and just clearing my body and clearing my mind so that I can just go with the flow of the universe. If there is a project that I'm working on that I wanted to complete by Friday and it wasn't completed by Friday, I'm going with the flu. It's not to say that I'm not pushing to complete things at this time, but I'm working in the energy of what comes, comes, what doesn't, doesn't. And it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't have to feel bad about that, right? So there's an aspect of you where in your childhood, you may not have received the nurture, nurturing that you needed and it has caused you to be guarded and very serious about life and it has caused you to also not want to share who you are with the world because you feel like every time you share who you are you just get hurt and there's an aspect of you now needing to re-mother yourself maybe some of you didn't have good mother figures in your life um and for, I know for most of my life, my mother was absent. So I had to learn how to mother myself. And mothering yourself is listening to yourself, validating yourself. When, when a child goes to a mother, the mother rarely, a, a, an intuned mother rarely shames that child. She listens to her child. She motivates her child. She validates her child's emotions. Some of you need to do that. You need to validate how you feel about certain things. Um, calling your tribe as well. You are stepping into the stage of you're no longer going to be around these people who bring your energy down. You're going to start being surrounded by people who get you, support you, and want to push you forward, right? So let's get some cards. Let's see your energy let's see what this um demonic energy is oh ten of cups in the reverse exactly if you are in, a, in an abusive relationship with someone who whenever whenever they get angry they like they are like a raging bull and then when and they bring this out of you they bring this anger out of you and then and then uh oh my flash just went off for some reason okay and then they are um they look for your forgiveness and they look for your compassion and that is after they have put you through the ringer and of course you want this happy family and happy life with this person so you stay around um spirit wants you to know that you need to choose yourself you need to love yourself and you're not gonna be alone if you feel like you leave this person maybe you have a family together so it's hard for you to leave this person you're not going to be alone. Spirit will put somebody else within this space that this, the hole that this person has created within your heart will be filled again. So somebody really needed to hear that. And another aspect is you just feeling fulfilled with your journey and where you are right now. You, 
you feeling um, mentally in tuned with yourself and where you are right now. And there's an aspect of you that you seek happiness, you seek joy, but then you are also clouded by the hurt, the past, the things people have done to you, the things that the ways people have treated you that has caused you to play small, that has caused you to keep your voice hidden, that has caused you to think that this happiness that you seek won't won't um won't come. And it's interesting because it's like your happiness is right around the corner. Ooh, we just had the devil come out. I'm, I'm going to tell you the cards that we have right now. We have the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the devil clarifying the Three of Swords. And we have the Emperor clarifying the King of Swords. So no, not only are you in your divine feminine energy, you are also in your divine masculine energy, sitting comfortably, confidently in who you are. And but there is this aspect. This is the demon. This is the demon. This is literally the demon, the devil. This is literally its energy. And you know, the devil in tarot usually gets people scared. It doesn't get me scared though. But this is literally the energy. I'm just going to get one more clarifying card. The seven of swords. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. It's just this energy is blowing my mind. The level of deceit and hurt that you have been through. You were not supposed to be here. You were not supposed to be here. People may literally have tried to kill you. People have tried to knock you off your throne. Mentally, emotionally, they've stabbed you in your, in your back. And they felt like they were going to get away with it. They felt that they were literally going to take this king, this emperor, off their throne. This empress. They put things in your head to make you believe that you won't receive success. And this could have been family members who did this to you. People who literally saw you go through the hardest parts of your life. You had to go through parts of your life where you had to hide yourself. You couldn't be outside. Because every time you stepped outside, there was a mother longer trying you. There was somebody else hurting you. So you had to cut people off. You had to isolate yourself. But spirit is saying no more isolation for you. Because now you are sitting in a space of authority. And this space of authority is attracting people to you. The only problem is these demons still haunt you. This, these emotional baggages. Look at this. We have the Queen of Swords with the King of Swords. Can you tell me balance? Can you tell me emotional and mental stability? And that's the thing. You have power within your stability. And there are some people who don't like that. You have the world. Oh, you have the world out clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Everything that you desire will come to you. The world is your oyster. The world is your playground. Look at the world as a simulation. Oh, you hurt me? Well, this is a game. What can I learn from this? Do, 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 do. X, 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 O, 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 triangle, triangle. I'm saying X, O, triangle because um, on like a game control, when you press X, you do something different than you press O. It's like spirit wants you to press. Spirit it wants you to press the buttons, okay? Press people's buttons. You are now in your bully energy. And it's not in the energy of... I'm a bully. It's in the energy. I, I say what the fuck I said. I say what I said. And now I'm speaking in this kind of a southern accent because, god damn, some of you could be southerners, okay? And then I got this British accent, you know? So some of you just gotta switch it up. You gotta switch up the flow. You gotta confuse the enemy. I'm telling you, your mind, your power, your voice is stronger than these swords. Because these people are operating in the lower vibrations. They are operating in the free of swords. The, I'm going to hurt your heart. I'm going to hurt you emotionally. I'm going to take something from you. I'm going to steal something from you. And I'm going to get away with it. I'm going to confuse your mind. I'm going to send demonic ent entities towards you. Some people literally may have casted spells upon your life. All because you are the king, the queen, because you are an emperor, an empress. All because they see that you have this journey, this thing about you that they don't possess. 
but they fucked with the wrong one. They messed with the wrong one. They didn't know who they were messing with when they messed with you. Did they not know who they were messing with when they were messing with you? Well, I'm here to tell you who you are. Maybe you don't know who you are, and that's why you allowed these people to step to you like that. You maybe didn't know that you had the world in your hands. You maybe didn't know that you are the magician. You maybe didn't know that you have all the resources that they require. You maybe didn't know that the only reason they come after you is because they want what you got. And they can't get it themselves. So instead of just respecting your energy, they want to send these demonic principles towards you. Be gone. Be gone. Reverse that shit to sender. Some of you need to do some reverse return to sender meditations or something. And I'm telling you, sometimes you don't even need to do spells, my nigga. You just need to talk these things. You just, you just need to speak. You just need to show out in the spiritual world with just your energy. Because if you, the, the fact that you can rely only on your energy to bring these things back speaks powers over your energy. There's literally somebody waiting with a smile on their face to see you fall. Like, they are literally waiting. It's like time. You see this two of, two of, two of pentacles? It's like they're balancing the options of waiting to see you fall, but then they actually are seeing you rising. But their mind is still on seeing you fall. So this person is going to keep operating in this demonic energy until they see you fall. But you won't. You won't. The chariots. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. The chariots. You are moving forward. Cancer energy. Taurus energy. We have air sign energy. We have all the signs. We have fire sign. The only uh, We have water sign. We have all the signs. I'm speaking to all the signs right now. The chariot. Can nobody take your place? And by the way, you see this, you see this spread here. The king of swords. The emperor. The chariots and the queen of swords all these people are standing on their own this is what makes this person so mad it's the fact that you do this on your own they're like how the hell do you do this man why can't i just get under your skin why every time i send something to you it comes back to me like i'm mad like i'm feeling this person's energies like they're mad they're big mad it's like a fire within them. It's like a heat. It's like a burning envy that they have towards you. That everything that they do to keep you down, you keep rising and you don't need them. You don't need them. It's the fact.